Hey what's up guys, it's Ruel here with another photoshop video and in this video I'll show you how to create color splash effect where the whole image is black and white and certain objects are in color. It, this effect helps to create attention to those objects and also in this video I'm gonna use masking and selection so I hope you are ready for that. Let's get started! For the effect I'm using this image and if you want to use it the download link is in the description and it's totally free. To start it go to adjustment layer and select black and white. After that grab your quick selection tool and for the better selection make sure that you have selected your image layer. Now make the selection of the objects that you want in color. When you are happy with your selection make sure that your foreground color is black. If not then press D for the defaults and use X key to flip them. After that select a black and white layer, mask, grab a brush tool and paint in the selected area. And you can press ctrl D to remove the selection. Also if your selection does not work very well, you can always paint manually without any kind of selection. It might take a little long but at least you will get your work done. The image looks fine but we can make it even better. For that duplicate your original layer and put it on a soft light mode. The whole image is fine but I want even more contrast on her face. For that I can duplicate the layer but as you can see the whole image is getting brighter. But we can do one thing, we can apply a layer mask. So apply a layer mask and make sure your foreground color is black and press alter backspace. It will fill the black color in the whole mask and hide all the data. Now as I showed earlier, we can always paint white color on her face to bring the contrast back only on her face. Now we can do one more thing, we can apply some bokeh on this image. If you want to learn how to make bokeh, you can see my tutorial how to make bokeh in Photoshop. Great tutorial, but if you are in hurry or you don't have time, you can always download some ready made images from Google. So don't worry about that. Now take your bokeh layer and put this on screen blend mode and reduce opacity a bit. You can also apply a layer mask and remove some unwanted parts. See it looks pretty impressive. Now the final image is ready and here are some after befores and here are some other tutorials. I hope you learned something and if you have any questions or suggestions ask me in the comments. You can also subscribe to my channel for upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Take care. Have some fun with Photoshop.